Noah, the amazing news that you'll be staying, we wait for Trinity for 2025, you've signed a, a one-year extension with the club. First of all, just talk us through how pleased you are to be staying at Wakey. Oh yeah, I'm buzzing. Um, the first day I came in here, I, I just knew it was the club for me and it just feels like one big family and the club's going places now and um, it, thanks to Matt and, and, and Pauli for offering me this, uh, this new deal and being at this club for another year. How have you found it in 2024? Um, it's been very good, um, learning obviously different positions and, and just being around, um, being around the old, older lads as well. It's, it's been it's been very good. It's been a, it's been a blessing to be fair uh, for me, uh, developing as a player on and off the field as well. Experience obviously through the youth ranks, coming through kind of the system at Cass and Warrington. Yeah. How's Wakefield differ to, to those two clubs? Um, it just like I said, it just feels like one big family. Um, all the players, even the staff, we're just a one big group and. They've learnt me um, how to carry myself on the field and how to get better in that sense, but also off the field and becoming a better, uh, becoming a better person and being humble and, and not having an ego as well, definitely. What's it been like working with coaches like Daryl Powell, but also players and players like sort of Luke Gale, Max yeah. Jowett, obviously he's a, a fullback. I'm sure you'll want to mirror your game on. Yeah, well, I've grown up uh, watching Gale and obviously watching Pauli and especially at Cass, like... Um, it being my boy or club like and for to be playing underneath Pauli now and, and playing alongside Gailey it's like it's sort of your dreams come true really um, and with Max it's like everything he does um, on and off the field it's what I want to become um, as, I, as I get older yeah definitely. Obviously we saw a man of, man of the match performance obviously at the weekend against Whitehaven in, in only your eighth appearance of the, of the season mm. How does those sort of games help you in your confidence and, and you kind of processing where your career is at at the moment? Um, yeah, I think games games like that, um, when the opposition aren't as good as other teams, you sort of, it's a, it's a step up as well because everyone wants to get their hands on the ball, everyone wants to play well and wants to impress. So for me to get the man of the match in a, in a game like that's it's good for me and as uh, my confidence as well. Um, it, obviously, this is like the business end of the year. For me, just to get a few 80 minutes um, before the end of the year will be massive for me, yeah. Paul has spoken about seeing you as a potential centre. Obviously, you've played most of your career as a fullback. Yeah. How, how do you feel like having those multiple positions really benefits you when, when it comes to sort of Pauli's mind frame, mind frame and decision making when it comes to team selection. Yeah, well, I've I've really enjoyed learning centre. Um, I, I do see myself as a centre, just like my body shape and uh, the way it's going. And um, hopefully, I can become and grow into a good centre. But being versatile and having them few positions is, is I think, it's key uh, for a back. I think I can when an injury comes up, especially as a young lad, when an injury comes up, uh, I can slot in there and and. Hopefully not let the team down, and I think that's the main thing. Not letting the team down when you go into that, into that position. I think you've got to be good in them multiple positions, and, and being able to play other positions is, is vital really. Eight first team games, we've played a number of games in the reserves alongside a number of first team players that have dropped. Don't want to say drop down. It almost yeah. sounds like a bad term, but have gained experience yeah. in the reserves. How do you feel like that's benefited you, keeping that consistent rugby? Yeah, well, I've played a lot of uh, centre for the reserves. Um, so to be able to play centre and, and learn it that way, getting 80 minutes in playing centre is, is the best way to learn it, really. And I've sort of, uh, from that first reserves game to my last reserves game, I've just come on each game and, and become better, especially defensively, uh, seeing a massive improvement in myself and my confidence. And, and the more games you play, the more confident you are, you are and, uh, and the better you are, really. Then. As we say, it's only a 12-month deal, but what does the future hold for Noah Boob and what's your kind of goals going into 2025? Yeah, well, hopefully um, I have a really good pre-season, um, put a bit of a size on and, and mature in that way and then um, hopefully become a better rugby player and, and keep getting better um, and then look for, hope for the, to stay here for a, a long time and that's the plan and um, I love this club and I love what they've done for me so I'm buzzing to be here for another year but hopefully I can push on for, um, for a few more years after that as well.